Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Carrie and I like to do all things cash stuffing and budgeting on this channel so I can help manage my variable income so I can pay off debt and save for big savings goals like our forever home. In today's video, we'll be cash stuffing a total of $815 into my cash envelope binders and this is for the third week of January. So let's get into it. This week I am not going to be stuffing my wallet because um, we just got back from our trip for my birthday, a birthday trip that I went on. I'm a birthday or I'm a January baby. So shout out to everybody else who is also a January baby. So um, I had enough cash in there and uh, I have a little bit of rollover that I will use in next week's budget to roll over for February. So extra week is getting $20. So now it has 20, 40, 60, 80, $100 an extra week. And this is just for those months that have extra weeks or extra days in them, like a half a week or something like that. Extra debt and extra taxes is getting skipped because we are in the process of selling this home. And this actually might be one of the last times that I'm able to do a cash stuffing recording in this house. So you may see a different setup in the close, in the near future. Um, or I may be doing it at like random places until we get our next house because we're selling this one and buying our forever home, our dream home, hopefully. So quarterly subscriptions is getting $5. So now it has 35 in here. Gas is getting 25 this week so that we can use this towards the money that we spent for our trip on our credit card. So we have 20, 40, 60, $75 in gas for that. Trash and recycle is getting five. Um, okay, sure, we'll use this five. So now it has 10, 15, $25 in here. I have been getting some really bad fives from my bank. And actually one of them was so bad that the bank teller was like, Oh, this five is terrible. Here, let me get you another one. No, that one's really bad too. Let me get you a different one. Okay, all my fives are bad. <laughs> so I don't know. They just haven't been giving the bank very good $5 bills, I guess. Okay, so we're putting $10 into annual expenses. So now it has 20, 35, 45. And annual expenses is obviously those fees and stuff that we pay annually and it's different than quarterly subscriptions because we have some that come out every three months and some that only come out once a year. Health is getting $100. It usually gets $100 because we spend quite a bit of money in health or on health related things. 100, 200, 300, 20, 40, 60. So 360 in this. Medical hat or is going to get 20, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 in medical. Trying to build this back up. I, uh, at the end of 2023, I went ahead and depleted all of my cash envelopes. I just like bankrupted them, the, bankrupted them all and put all of that money in the bank and then started fresh for 2024. So 20 is going into copays. So now we have. 20, 40, 60, 80 in here. Some of these 20s are ripping and they're soft. And I had it to the point last year where most of my binders had really crispy bills because I kind of collected them over, you know, throughout the year. <laughs> and now we started over and I lost them all. Car registration is getting um, five per week. This isn't due until September of 2024. So now we have 10. 1520 in car registration. Car care is getting five. It has a decent amount in here already. So we're just gonna keep building this up for any maintenance or car washes or anything like that. We'll probably need new tires at some point. So now we have 50, 70, 90, 110, 115, 120, 125. And then our car deductible is fully funded. We have $1,000 in our savings towards that. All right, we're going to move on to our 
that was our bills and higher priority sinking funds uh, binder and then this is our lower priority sinking funds so we're gonna put a hundred dollars into travel and trips so now it has one two three four hundred dollars this is gonna mostly save up throughout the year and then get spent um, towards the end of the year when we do a lot of our holiday uh, travel and stuff like that. Also, if you notice, I fixed most of my envelopes. If you watched my last video where I budgeted for the second week uh, and cash stuff for the second week of January, these envelopes were so wonky and just like, anyways, so I was able to fix them. I just ran them through the laminator one more time, resealed everything, and now they're looking good. Christmas gets $20 a week till Christmas, 20, 40, 60, 80 here. Last year, I was so thankful to have a Christmas envelope and I saved $600 in Christmas. It was my first year budgeting for it and I wasn't sure how much we needed and we went about $430 over budget. So I like took it from other categories like entertainment, and gifts and stuff like that. So this year I'm gonna save up a little bit more. I'm gonna do $20 a week when I can. Okay, lawn care is getting skipped, so is household. Home decor is not gonna get anything right now. We're prioritizing moving into our new home. We're gonna be using the equity that we have in our current house to sell and roll it over into a 20% down payment for our new home. And then we're gonna to have to pay for all of our you know, moving expenses and stuff like that. So I am really streamlining the envelopes that I'm use or um, cash stuffing right now. Electronics is getting 10, 20, 30, 40 in here. That's why I'm skipping a few envelopes because some of them are not as important as other ones. 20 goes into family fun. 20, 40, 60, 80. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. There we go. Beauty is getting 25. And a lot of this is going to be coming out and getting unstuffed, as I mentioned, to pay off our credit card that we use every month um, for all of our expenses. And then we cash stuff our variable expenses and use the cash to pay off the card. So 20, 40, 55. We do that um, every month because not only does it help us like build our credit score back up and stuff like that, but it also helps to earn points and we're able to budget a lot easier. Skincare is getting skipped. Clothing is going to be, I think, getting skipped as well. Um, it's a lot easier for us to be able to manage our variable expenses this way using this cash stuffing and unstuffing method. All right, what are we at? Gifts is getting 20, 40, 65, 20, 40, 60, 81, 5, 10, 15. So 115 in gifts there. Special occasions is getting 20, 20, 40, 60, 80 in this. Lots of 20s that are going into my regular budgeting this year. All right, now we're gonna move on to our savings challenge binder. And we're gonna be starting with our 5K savings. I got this from Jordan Budgets on Etsy. I just printed it off as a printable. So this week we're going to be stuffing $150 and we're going to color in oh, that's the wrong one sometimes the permanent markers will bleed too much all right so we're four four coins so far now we have 100, 200, 300, 350, 400, 450, 500. No, I don't know how to count. 1, 2, 3, 350, 400, 450, 500, and 25. Is that right? Yeah, cool. Okay, great. I guess I do know how to count. It adds up really quickly. Um, 
the goal is to obviously save $5,000 with this. However, I'm hoping to do it maybe twice this year so that we'll have like a $10,000 emergency fund saved up. But right now we're focusing on moving and everything and that's gonna take time and resources away from these challenges a little bit. So we're gonna stuff $25 this week into our 1K savings challenge. 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, $90 in our almost 10% saved so far. I really pared down my savings challenges so far this year because I wanted to focus on saving for really like bigger savings goals and stuff. So um, this one is our save 2024 in 2024 challenge. It's going to be getting 60. So we'll color this in and we're going to put um, 20, 40, 60 in here. So now we have 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 140, 45, 150 already saved up in this. We're uh, like one week ahead, so we're currently stuffing for the third week of January, um, but we're one week ahead because I did have like a little bit of like um, bonus paycheck from uh, side hustle stuff. All right, we're actually skipping Treat Yourself right now. Um, it just wasn't a priority and I wanted to put that $20 elsewhere. And then we're going to stuff our winter holiday challenge. This is our snowflake challenge with $5 this week. Another snowflake right here, 10, 15, 20, 25. And color this in. This is just a little mini savings challenge. I really enjoy savings challenges, so I'll probably pick up like a few more as the year goes on. Um, last year I did like a ton of savings challenges, um, small ones, big ones, everything, so. All right, we are going to Put 25 into this monthly savings challenge here. And then this is going to probably get unstuffed as well as the next savings challenge box that we're doing. It's going to get all unstuffed for the entire month and go into savings and maybe towards savings or towards debt or something like that. That was the initial goal until we decided to sell our home a little bit sooner than I had anticipated. So here we are figuring out what we want to do with it, but um, I think it will go into our, our savings for this. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, uh, 90, 95, $100 so far saved up in our January monthly savings challenge. And this is from Katie over at the Fancy Dollar. All right, let's just make sure this is dry. Looks pretty good. Okay, so we can put this back. And then lastly, we're just going to stuff our monthly savings box for the third week of the month here, which is $75. Right here, 50, 75. Fold this. I got this savings box from Essie Mod. She has her own uh, shop online as well as YouTube channel. And all of the stuff that I use in my videos for all my cash stuffing and budgeting and everything is linked in the description box down below. All right, let's color this in real quick. For the third week and then um, I'm a little bit like delayed on all of my budgeting and everything for my cash stuffing. I'm getting on track now because I'm trying to get through them a lot quicker. So um, I'll be doing my f second, third, and fourth cash stuffings really close together. So I can move on to February and then February will be my first full paycheck for my new part-time job. So I'll be able to budget that I think a lot better. So a lot easier hopefully. I've got so many pen marks on myself now. 
All right, thank you so much for hanging out with me today for this uh, third week of January's cash stuffing. I'm looking forward to completing lots of savings goals this year and having a lot of fun saving for my future home and my forever home, hopefully. So um, thank you so much for hanging out with me and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.